Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at pulling previous Docker release tags in our Unraid containers. The default for the Unraid containers typically is to stay on the latest Docker image, whether you manually or auto-update them. Although sometimes uh, changes in containers can cause problems that you didn't necessarily expect, and there may be times where you want to revert to a previous image. So we're going to take a look at how we can do that. First thing we want to do is right click on our container and click on more info. Now Pi-hole in my experience is notorious for breaking in some respects uh, when it updates to a new version. So I like to keep it at a set release tag. Now if we go back to our Unraid dashboard and we edit our Pi-hole template, one of the things that we can see is right here on the repository line, it's set to run the latest image, okay? So if we go to the Docker page for PyHole, we can see where our tags are, right here next to the overview. And these tags, you can see where this matches, where it says latest right here. This matches what we've got right here in our container image. So if we scroll down, we can start seeing all the different Docker tags that run different versions, previous versions. So in an instance where you may have had one that worked before, and then you've updated to the latest, you might go, "Ugh, I wish I could go back. This is how we do that. So let's say I'm on the latest image for PyHole. Uh, I want to go back. So I'm going to copy and paste the tag, tag name for PyHole right here. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm just gonna paste it right here under the template for my container. There we go, just like that. And that's pretty easy. So we're just gonna scroll down. We're gonna hit apply here. And that's it. Now 5.1.2 on this template um, may have been the latest already. Um, you can scroll back and go through almost any old version that you that you want to. Now this isn't exclusive to PyHole. Um, you can do this typically on any Docker container out there. Uh, so if I wanted to run, for example, let's just say I wanted to run version 5.0. Uh, this should give us a more active transfer. So let's see what that does. There you go. We can see that it's now starting to download all the things that it needs for the older version. Let that pull down. Now one thing to keep in mind when you do this, depend, it's container specific, but there may be um, different images that have different fields. So for example, if I go into my container template. Um, an older version may not ask me for container port 80, or it may not ask me for uh, the DNS mask listening, or, or whatever. Um, you may want to double check and make sure that you've got all the fields necessary for the container image that you're running, but typically uh, on most containers you should just be able to Pull down whatever version it is that you're looking for, plug that into the repository here, hit apply, and let that container image pull down. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and stop my PyHole template because I already have that PyHole running on a different server here on my network. It's typically pretty easy. Sometimes you just want a container to stay the same. So manually setting the Docker tag in the template repository is the best way to do that. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you guys all have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thanks.